Hello and welcome to another episode of Motown India TV. My name is Joshua and today we're going to be reviewing the new Yamaha Saluto and the new Yamaha Fasino. The Saluto is a commuter bike. It has a 125cc engine and it weighs about 112 kilos. That means for city traffic, it's ideal. It's light and zippy. It has aggressive headlights in the front and a sleek looking tail lamp in the rear. It has telescopic fork suspension in the front and a swing arm in the rear. To ride, this bike is stable and at speeds of 60, 70, 80, 90, it's smooth. Beyond that, it's a bit stressed and the engine feels out of breath. The Saluto has a sleek fuel tank with plastic cladding on the sides and the brave black version of the bike, which we reviewed, looks appealing to say the least. The side compartments have a black and silver finish while the tail lamp looks aggressive. The bike comes with 80x100 R18 tubeless tires which give it a neat stance and a decent ground clearance of 180mm. The Saluto performs admirably on tarmac. It has a smooth ride and the tires provide ample of grip. The lean profile of the tires make for a zippy ride and the lightweight of the vehicle ensures a good fuel economy. The telescopic forks front and swing arm rear suspensions ensure a stable and smooth ride over potholes and rough roads. The Saluto has a broad and comfy saddle and can seat two full grown adults with ease. The seat height and comfort design of the handles provide for a good riding position. The switchgear is easy to operate and has been designed ergonomically. The Saluto has an electric start feature and a simple analog speedometer which is easy to read and has an eco-friendly driving indicator. This is the Yamaha Fasino, and as you can see, it's a very chic looking scooty. You have stylish headlamps in the front and a stylish tail lamp in the rear. You have chrome garnishing on the sides and in the front and rear. It has a 113cc engine, it weighs about 103 kilos, it returns 66 kmpl of average, and it will go from 0 to 60 in approximately 10 seconds. As you can see, Yamaha has designed this scooty to compete with the likes of the Vespa and I have a very strong feeling that this is going to give the Vespa a run for its money. On tarmac, the scooty handles well, it's light and zippy and you break no sweat driving it around the city. For the Fasino, Yamaha has used a retro look combined with the new design philosophy. The design language is inspiring with smooth and curvy lines flowing seamlessly on the sides of the scooty. The front of the Fasino has edgy styling and a triangular yet round headlamp. It has a sleek side profile and comes with chrome garnishing on the sides. The front and rear feature the Yamaha emblem housed in a chrome finished wing blade. The 90x100 R10 tires grip the road well and give the scooty an impressive stance. The Fasino has a ground clearance of 128mm and unit swing rear suspension which caters to a smooth hassle-free ride. In city traffic and on highways, the Fasino is easy to ride. It corners well and has a sharp acceleration. Throttle inputs are exact from the word go and the engine does not feel stressed till the 85 km per hour mark. The front and rear drum brakes are progressive but never give you a feeling of uncertainty. The Fasino has one of the biggest underseat storage areas of 21 liters. It comes with an underseat hook for bags and a bottle holding pocket for any pocket sized items and water bottles. It has a broad and comfy saddle and the rider seat height is set at 775mm. It is also available with an electric start and kick start function. The Saluto and the Ficino are two very promising offerings in their segments. While the Saluto incorporates great design and styling, the Ficino is highly reliable and returns good mileage. The Saluto has a starting price of Rs 52,000 while the Ficino costs Rs 52,500. The Ficino is on the more expensive side but when you compare that to competitors like the Vespa, it definitely provides good value for money while making a style statement. The Saluto is one of those commuter bikes which will do what you demand of it provided you know its limits. It is reliable, sturdy and does not fail to impress you when you look at it from the commuter standard.
For the latest news and reviews, subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook.